you are no longer happy with your iPhone 12? In this repair video, we show you how you can repair your smartphone on your own. Replacing the lightning connector on the iPhone 12 is one of the most complex repairs, since almost all components have to be removed. Therefore, schedule about 120 minutes for the repair. We recommend the following tools. You can find them in our online store at adoc.eu. We have put the link in the info box. Turn off your iPhone 12 to avoid potential short circuits during the repair. To do so, press and hold the standby and silent button simultaneously for a few seconds. The iPhone 12 is opened via the screen. To remove it, you first have to unscrew the two pantalope screws on the left and right of the lightning connector. Then, use a heat gun or an ordinary hairdryer to heat up the edge of the glued screen. This makes it easier to separate the screen from the rest of the case. You should only heat it up to the point where you can still touch it without burning your fingers. As soon as the edge of the back cover has warmed up sufficiently, we apply the ice clack, which consists of two suction cups and a handle. The suction cups are placed on the screen and back cover. Then the handle is slightly squeezed, which allows creating a gap between the screen and back cover without much effort. Enlarge the gap with a hard plastic pick and drive it once around the screen to completely detach it from the rest of the case. Once the screen is completely detached, you can carefully open it towards the volume buttons. The screen cables still have to be disconnected. To avoid overstretching them, you should lean the screen against the stable object. The connectors of the screen cables are located under cover plates. To separate them from the board, you have to unscrew the plates with a Y-type screwdriver. The larger one of the two cover plates is additionally hooked in. To prevent a potential short circuit, you should always separate the exposed battery connectors in the first place, before the screen connectors. To do so, carefully drive a spatter underneath the connector and lever it off the logic board. Do the same to separate the three screen connectors. You can then put the screen aside. Continue removing the speaker by unscrewing the four Phillips screws, then check it out of the device. Before you can remove the SIM module, you first have to remove the SIM tray by pushing a SIM tool into the small hole next to the tray. Then unscrew the two cover plates and put them aside. Use a spatula to separate the connector of the SIM module from the logic board. Before removing the module, you have to loosen two more screws that keep the module in the case. To remove the Taptic engine, first carefully pry off its connector. Then unscrew the three screws that hold it in place and carefully remove it from your device. You don't necessarily have to remove the battery to remove the lightning connector. However, it can facilitate detaching the lightning connector. You can find detailed removal instructions for the battery in our battery guide for the iPhone 12. 
The next step is to detach the dual camera. Start by loosening the five screws from the camera's cover plate and put it aside. Then separate the two camera connectors and carefully take the module out of its guide in the case. Use a spatula to separate the Bluetooth cable connector from the logic board. The cable is fixed to the side of the case with three Y-tap screws. Loosen the screws and then remove the cable. Once the cable is detached, the logic board can be removed. Use a spatula to separate all connectors that are attached to the board. Note that some of the connectors are hidden underneath other connectors. Then pull off the protective film on the logic board by carefully running a steel spatula under it. Unscrew the four screws that hold the board in place. Be especially careful not to damage the connectors and flex cables when removing the board. The barometric valve on the lower edge of the rear case must also be removed. To do so, first loosen the two Y-type screws from the cover plate. Be careful not to bend the contact points on the cover plate. Then also loosen the two standoff screws. and lift the barometer wolf as well as the small golden microphone out of their guides. These are connected to the lightning cable. Afterwards, carefully lever off the wolf's heavily glued plastic guide from the edge of the case with a pair of tweezers. Now remove the lightning connector itself or the cable set of the lightning connector respectively. Loosen the nine screws. Especially with the side screws, make sure to use the screwdriver correctly and exert enough pressure on the screw head, otherwise they can easily be turned around. Once all the screws have been loosened, we recommend that you heat the heavily glued cable set with hot air to make it easier to detach. Run a steel spatula flat under the cable and separate it from the case bottom, piece by piece. Put the new lightning connector back in the original position. Press the cable flat onto the case bottom, the charging port and microphone back into the guides. Fix the cable set with the nine screws.
Then put back the plastic guide of the barometric valve and screw it in place. Push the barometric valve and the small golden microphone back in place and screw tight the cover plate with two Y-type screws. Now put the logic board back in place and screw it tight. Doing so, be careful not to damage any connectors or flex cables. Then put back the plastic guide of the barometric valve and screw it in place. Press the protective film back on and connect all connectors to the board. Do this gently and never force them down. Damaging a connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Position the Bluetooth cable and screw to the edge of the case with three Y-type screws. Then put the dual camera back into its guide and attach its connectors. Put the cover plate back on and screw it tight. If you detach the battery to remove the lightning connector, you have to reinsert it at this point. We show you in detail how to do this in our battery instructions for the iPhone 12. Reinsert the Taptic engine and screw it in place. Then reattach its connector by carefully pressing it. You can then put the SIM module back in place. Screw it tight and attach the connector. Put the two cover plates back on and fix them with the two Y-type screws each. Then insert the SIM tray again. Finally, position the speaker back in its guide and screw it tight. Once everything is installed, we recommend you to connect the display provisionally to test the new lightning connector after the repair. Press the screen connectors back onto the board The battery connector last. Then carefully flip the screen over and press it firmly into the case. Connect a charging cable to see if the battery charges. After that you can check other basic functions such as the display, face ID, speaker and haptic engine to make sure your repair was successful. If something is not working properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. If everything is working properly, you can open the screen again and insert the cover plates. The screw holes will help you with the alignment.
remember to hook the ladder of the two cover plates on one side. Tighten the plates with the Y-type screws. To reseal your iPhone 12, press the screen back into the case unit so that it sits evenly all over. At the end of the repair, screw the screen tight with the pantalope screws. Now your iPhone 12 has full charging power again. If this tutorial helped you, then give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our Adoc store. Adoc. Everything for your smartphone. Find more helpful videos here. See you next time.